Hey everybody, welcome back to my 999 voice acting let's play. Last time we wandered around did a bunch of stuff that apparently didn't matter, and we got the boiler working, and we found some coin things with de uh, designs on them, and we plugged it into some holes that I eventually found, and it opened the door. So yay, we're free. So um, June was sick, but now she's seeming like she's doing better, and she just seems kind of joking, so she seems a lot better. So I'm not really sure what happened with her in the first place. So... Let's continue. Junpei and Jun looked at one another. We also found out that Santa has a sister. And um, he told a story about two different Santas. And the good Santa slaughtered the bad Santa. And that's why he wears red. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Who knows why that matters. But we'll see. Junpei and Jun looked at one another. There was nothing they could think of to say. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Santa's voice echoed across the room from above them. They nodded and followed him quickly up the stairs. Do, do, do. Ace was waiting for them at the top. He was leaning against the handrail. He looked very tired. It also looks like the door is closed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the door had shut, but that wasn't cause for the concern. Junpei quickly solved the disc puzzle a second time, and the door opened once again. Also, like, if it closes, the, do the discs just, like, shift? Or, like, why were they not in the same spot? Hmm. In single file, they walked through. After walking for nearly 15 feet, they found themselves in front of a metal door. It opened easily enough, and they passed through it as well. Okay. A new room stretched out before them. Oh, God. A cargo hold. More boxes. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This, mu this must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Jinpei, Ace, and June had stopped unconsciously, pausing to take in their new surroundings. Santa's voice broke through their momentary trance. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. Well, that was quick. Time to find another way out. See the way out. Da -da -da. Okay, well, let's get investigating. Box. A box. There's nothing inside. Okay. These crates are quite large. They seem to be tied to one another with sturdy straps. Three crates are tied to one another with several straps. A box. Oh, there's a bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in them. <gasps> card with a headshot. Oh my god, that's a knife man. The card with the knife man's face printed on it. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Uh oh. What's that? It's a card. It has a headshot on it. A headshot? Yeah. I'm not really sure what purpose this could possibly serve. He's nothing to say about it being the knife man. There's nothing in the bag anymore. Why did that take so long? To... Okay. These crates are a little smaller than the others. They look like they're the children of the other crates. Junpei, that sounds like some sort of fairy tale. Really? I don't know, man. You ever think about how crates would reproduce? Doesn't sound like a fairy tale to me. Ha ha ha. It's crate triplets. Oh, okay. I can see some metal boxes on the other side of the fence. Apparently that is a fence. Um, what's the with you? <gasps> More bags is gonna have everyone's pictures. Oh god, it's Snake. The card with Snake's face printed on it. Oh my gosh, what does it mean? Why does no one have anything to say about it? I don't know what's in these barrels. Judging by their weight, perhaps a liquid of some sort. I need to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm back now. Judging by their weight, perhaps a liquid of some sort. There are four barrels next to the wooden crate. There's nothing in these crates. Okay, three wooden crates. A box. Uh, another card, it's so I got it's Ace. It's Ace's card. You look like some kind of European lord. Oh, my headshot. You want to see it? It's actually a pretty good picture. No, I don't need to see it. In fact, we really ought to get back to our search. Why is nobody concerned about these things? It's the card with Ace's face on. Hmm. Clover? It's Clover. This is Clover's card. You know, looking at this photo, she's kind of cute, isn't she? <laughs> huh? What's up? <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing at all. 
Why does her smile make me feel cold? A card with Clover's picture. There's... There's... These stairs, they go up three stories. What are you waiting for, Junpei? <laughs> Whatever, I'm going. Uh. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, whatever. This is the only door here, except for the one we just came through. Then this is the exit. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Of course it's locked. Is it an electronic lock? No, just the keyhole right under the doorknob. So to open this door, we've got to find the key that fits that keyhole. Yeah. Up the stairs. What is this? The monitor's off. I've got a green switch here and a red one and some kind of lever. None of them seem to do anything, though. Maybe the power's off? Yeah, maybe. There's a single green light on the bottom, though. That means... I don't know what this means. Well, there's six holes here. They look like jacks or a headphone cable. Jacks, huh? Then maybe if we put something in them... Yeah, something might happen. There's six holes here. It looks like I could probably insert some kind of pin in them. If we do that, then maybe something might happen. There are several lights here with numbers from 1 to 9. Only the n light with a 9 on it is lit. What does that mean? Looks like it's covering something. It looks like some kind of little shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. What's going to come out of it if it does open? <laughs> yeah, like I'd know that. It's a little shutter that looks like it's a cover for something. I have a feeling it'll open up. Alright, so let's go find things. Oh my gosh. I can see the machine. It's spinning. The spinning light on top of it looks kind of cute. There are four cards lined up at equal intervals. A heavy looking metal box. Hmm. There are a whole bunch of identical crates in a pile here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Some kind of control panel. It looks like it's not powered right now. There's green light on the bottom, though. Hmm. Okay. A handrail that surrounds the platform with a control panel on it. There's a metal panel out over the outside of the window. scaffold that supports the staircase. Um, down we go. That's the door we came through. This door leads to the steam engine room. Boxes. We searched all the boxes. There's nothing in them. Okay. Four cards. There's something inside this crate. Is it June and Junpei? It's Junpei. Not cool, man. You took this picture without my permission. It looks pretty cool, though. You look really handsome in this picture. Hey, no hey knock it off, love birds. <laughs> what? We're not a couple, not at all, not in any way. There's a pretty, <laughs> there's a pretty cool looking dude on this card. I can't take my eyes off it. Hmm. This must be. Oh no! Don't look at it. I'm not cute at all. I'm not photogenic, and I don't look sexy either. Next to Clover, my skin looks gross. I'm not sexy like Lotus. Uh, I know guys go for I know guys go for women who look like Lotus, but 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 I'm trying to. I'm doing the best I can. So please don't call me a board or a trash can or a cutting board. Wait 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 a minute. I haven't said anything like that, have I? Eh. This card is a picture of Juno. Hmm. There's nothing in here. What's it mean? No, that looks like a puzzle I'm not ready to deal with. Seven! And that's a sevens card. If this is supposed to be a trading card, it's not a very good one. Or seven. It looks like something. It looks like some kind of criminal. It looks like one of those photos you see on a bulletin board at the police station. Or seven. Um, barrel. There's some kind of liquid in these barrels. I'm not sure what it is, however. There are a number of barrels full of some unidentified li liquid near the wall. Now we're missing Lotus's picture. Yeah. Now the guy on this card is one good looking son of a bitch. Way more class than that other chump. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Huh? What's your problem? Did I didn't say I meant you, did I? Shit. The card was Santa's face on it. Um, so that's where we found the ninth man. That's over here. There are three crates here stacked up like stairs. Climb up there, I think we can get over the fence. 
Junpei think you could go take a look at that? Sorry, but no thanks. Why? I've, uh, still had a bad feeling about it. Pussy. Okay, fine. I'll go. Please be careful, Santa. Yeah, but just in case. Wait, what's he going to do with that screw? I don't see what throwing a screw at a fence is. Holy shit! Ugh. Ugh. This? Oh man. There's electricity running through that fence. It looks like it. Then we can't get to the other side. Well, we could jump off those crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. Hmm. I think we can get over the fence by jumping on those crates. What are you saying, Jumpy? There's a huge electrical current flowing through that fence. If you do that, you won't be able to get back. Well, if I can move some of those crates over there... Are you even sure you can move them? What if they weigh too much? Then what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that. Nope. There's three crates here, so, uh, piled up like a set of stairs. Be easy enough to climb up to the top of, but after that... There's a tall fence surrounding part of the cargo room. Apparently there's a high voltage current running through the fence. Hmm, what is this box? Apparently nothing to be clicked on. Jumpy, look at that crate over there! There's something on it, isn't there? Yeah, it looks like a coffin. A coffin?! Yeah, it seems kind of weird to find a coffin here, right? As if it's telling us, search here! Hmm... The plot begins. I wonder what's inside all these crates! There's a bunch of wooden crates on the inside of the fence. Um... I mean, I don't know. Well, now what do I do? I guess I gotta check out that stupid puzzle thing. <sighs> it's locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they... Oh? Ace bent down and picked up something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. It's... What's her fate? There's a picture of Lotus on this card. <laughs> Man, her hair is ridiculous. It looks like clay or something. It says the pot to the kettle. This card has Lotus's picture on it. Hmm. They had finally collected all nine picture cards. All that remained was to insert the cards into the slots at the front of each box. Junpei stared at the cards in his hands. Ace put it over his shoulder at them. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Junpei gave him a look. Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. We just master our numbers to the numbers on the boxes. So, for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes onto box two, and so on. Ah, uh, uh, I see. You may thought he might have just imagined it, but he could have sworn he stiffened. I'll leave the I'll leave the rest to you. He quickly turned and walked away. Strange, Junpei thought. Oh well, whatever. Is it mean? Why is he weird? Doing his best to clear his mind for the task at hand, he turned back towards the boxes. It's time to solve the puzzle of the nine boxes. Nine cards with pictures and nine boxes. Junpei stared at them for a moment, and then began. Click, click, click. Ace's card went into box one. The snakes went into box number two. Santa's card into box number three. Clover's card into box number four. Junpei's card into box number five. June cards into box number six. Seven cards into box number seven. Lotus's card into box number eight. And finally, a ninth man's card went into box number nine. As soon as he had inserted all the cards... Click. All nine box lids popped open at once. Peered inside. In each box was a single pin. Uh-oh. They looked like little sewing pins, but much thicker. Junpei collected them all quickly and shoved them into his pocket. Nine pins. These look like the kind of pins you use for sewing. There are nine of them in total, and they have numbers on them that run from one to nine. Hmm. Okay. So now I go up the stairs. Um, oh yeah, that's the exit. <sighs> okay, um... So now what do I do? There are six holes here, and it looks like the pins I just found would be a perfect fit for them. The ones you found in the nine boxes, right? Well, why don't you try it? Alright, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go here on the top part, and three, five, and seven on the bottom part. Why? Well, some of them lit up. Yeah, three and six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights go on. Well, I put two, four, and six pins on the top part, and three, five, and seven pins on the bottom. Hmm, you think... You think maybe it's the digital root? Digital root? 
2 plus 4 plus 6 equals 12. The digital root of 12 is 3, therefore light 3 turns on. 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15, the digital root of 15 is 6, therefore light 6 turns on. Makes sense, right? I see. The lights on the lights that match the digital root of pins inserted on, on the top and lower bars will light up. That's how it works. Well, there's no, one other thing I'd like to check. Well, if he wants to try, he's certainly welcome to. So he put one, two, and three pins on the top, and six, seven, and eight pins on the bottom. Oh. They turned off. Six plus seven plus eight is twenty-one. The digital root twenty-one is three. Therefore, light three turns off. One, two, one plus two plus three is six. The digital root of six is six. Therefore, light six turns off. Ooh, I get it now. If the digital root for the pins you insert is the same as the number of the light number on the lights that are lit, those lights turn off. Yeah, it looks like that's the trick. All right, now that we know how it works, you want to give it a try? Wait, you mean you know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Well, no, but I figure we could try and see if we could turn them on all, all on, you know. Figure something's gotta happen if we can manage that. Turn on the lights, huh? Okay, Junpei, let's make sure we know how this all works, right? Pick one of the six holes, and pick one of the pins in your hand, and insert it into the hole. Keep it up until all six of the holes are filled. Once all the holes are filled, the lights with the numbers that correspond to the digital roots of the pins in the upper and lower parts will turn on. However, if a digital root corresponds to a light that's already on, that light will be turned off. The goal is to turn on all the lights. Alright, let's do it! Okay, well this won't be too hard, I'll just go... <laughs> Famous last words, I'm sure. Um, so I'll just go in order, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, so I'll just do... Okay, so let's see. One... This might take a while. <laughs> Alright, so to get a digital root of one, I'd have to equal ten. That's ten, so that'd be one. So then two. Um, I do eleven. Um, mm, well, okay. Well, let's see what would equal to um, either eleven or twenty. Can I make twenty? So that's seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nope. Okay, well that's, uh, that's one, so I'll do three. <laughs> so that's twelve. So, this might be harder than I thought. Um, twenty-one. Seven, eight, nine, eight, and four. Ta-da! Okay. So now we can do two, which is eleven. So nine... and one. Alright, so that'll be two. So then four, I can do thirteen. Six, four, and three. Ta-da! Okay. I got it. I'm doing it. Okay, so five would be fourteen. So I can do eight, two, and four, and then fifteen. Sixteen. Uh, okay, yeah, I totally got this. Nine, one, eight, six, and seventeen. Those would be eight, two, and seven. Bam! I'm so good at this. Yeah. All the lights are on and the shutters opened up. I'm stuck. Okay, just kidding. I'm fine. And the uh, shutters opened up. Hey, does that mean? Yeah, we gotta do it. Wait, again? Why do we gotta do it again? And I thought I was doing so well. I'm so confused. Okay, so we've got nine. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's nine. Okay. And there's an F up above it. I didn't know those were holes. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there's nine holes, so we need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't you just try it, alright? Hmm. Okay, well, this will probably take a little bit longer, because I don't know what exactly is happening. But, so we'll end it there. And we'll continue next time. Yay. Okay. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.